The four feathers on this hat are magic. They enable Tex Tucker's dog and horse to speak and his guns to fire without him even touching them. And now, another exciting adventure from Four Feather Falls. Aren't you going after them? You trying to learn me my job? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> but Tex Tucker would have rode after them straight away. I ain't Tex Tucker. And until he gets back, I'll be running things my way. Easy, fella. Easy, easy. That was a real smooth job, Johnny. A pushover. You stick with us, fella, and you'll be rolling in dollars. You think I can handle his end of it? Ike? Sure. He always has done. <laughs> I reckon there ain't no one in the West looks more like a real marshal than Ike Burns. <laughs> yeah, he'll keep things real hunky-dory. You'll see. What's this marshal gonna do about it? That is what I'd like to know. Every night, another robbery. Just ain't the same town no more. Ain't no use just sitting around waiting for things to get better. And they won't, neither. Leastways, not until Tex Tucker gets back. Which won't be for another month. What'll we do until then? I reckon we ought to form a vigilantes committee. But that's taking the law into our own hands. What law? There ain't no law around this town no more. We sure hired the wrong man as marshal. But that don't mean we can be pushed around in our own town. No, sir. I reckon we ought to be able to recruit every able-bodied man into the vigilantes. That'll show the marshal if he can't keep the peace, we will. Yes. Well, we better have a formal meeting in the morning. Yep. Meantime, we better get some sleep. Now, you all know why we have called this meeting. It's on account of it's been proposition that this town needs vigilantes to keep the peace. Well, if Tex Tucker hadn't gone, this never would have happened. A man has a right to visit his own kith and kin once in a while, and I, for one, wouldn't be after trying to stop him. Well, are you saying that folks here just can't look after themselves? If Tex Tucker ain't around, a nurse made him? Fine words, Mr. Twink, but you ain't been robbed three times in two weeks like Mr. Jackson here. Oh, Thank you so much, madam. It seems the only thing we can do is for every man to carry a gun for his own protection as well as everyone else's. Well, I don't much like the idea. Then don't do it. I wear the star here, and I'm rubbing this town. And I say there ain't nobody but me's gonna carry a gun in this burg. So I'm giving you fair warning. First man I see toting hardware is gonna have me to deal with. Fine vigilantes you are. A few hard words and you all cave in. Why, 
If I was a man, I wouldn't let myself be shoved around. No, not by anyone. You're right, ma'am. Law and order is gonna be kept in this town. Are we agreed? Agreed. Yeah, no, right, no. No. I reckon under all that tough talking, Marshal Burns is a mighty scared man. Hey, Ike. What the heck's he doing here? I thought I told you to keep away from here. Sorry, Johnny. I, I just had to come. There's gonna be trouble. What trouble? Ah, oh, them Hicks in Fourth at the Falls. They formed a vigilantes committee. Oh, you're the marshal. Why don't you stop him? Oh, ain't no point in staying on here, Johnny. We done okay out of this bird. Let's blow while the going's good. When I say so, not before. There's a load of gold dust coming into this town from the mines. And I am gonna get it. Them neckties is more like what we're gonna get with them crazy vigilantes around. Maybe he's right, Johnny. Keep your mouth shut, both of you. I want to know when and how they're shifting that gold. So you get back to your office, Marshal, and get the information, but quick. All the same, we ought to have a rifle up in the hotel roof, just in case. I'll take that stand, if you like. We need someone else on Redstone Pass, too, to cover us there. That's me. Leaving you to take the livery stables into the town, Doc. Uh, okay. Surely. Hello, Marvin. It's all set how we're going to guard the gold, but all we need to know is when it's coming. Tonight. I've told the marshal, and uh, he'll be coming with us. <laughs> Not that he's likely to be of much use. Uh, who else is riding the rig? Mr. Twink and me. Well, that seems to cover everything. Ain't nothing else we need, is there? Luck and lots of it. That's what we need right here in Four Feather Falls. You can travel around and roam the whole world over And meet those highfalutin' folks of great renown But you'll find pretty gals in frills and laces Happy hearts and friendly faces Away back in my hometown Well, there's a little old street where neighbors get together Yes, they do and if you ever get there, you'll never see a frown. Give me those wooden shacks and open spaces, happy hearts and friendly faces, away back in my hometown. When the cocks are crowing in the morning, and the bluebird starts to sing, and Mr. Sun is never done, cause every day is spring, yes, you can fritter away your golden Monte Carlo. But if you've got an idea that you'd like to settle down, you'll love those gentle folks in homely places, happy hearts and friendly faces, way back in my hometown. Way back in my home town. I guess folks is going to be real surprised to see us back. Shan't rest easy in my mind till I see the old place again. I ain't going to be sorry to get home neither, I can tell you. <sighs> Those are sentiments that I heartily endorse, dusty old boy. <gasps> Oh, no place like home, as the saying goes. What, 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 what? of him yet. Maybe they're gonna leave us alone. Well, I hope you're right. <laughs> but I'm just as sure. You're wrong. Well, we'll give them a run for their money. Oh, my name ain't Ebenezer Twing. Okay, then. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Won't be long now, fellas. I'll be just about ready for some chow. <laughs> And a deliciously comfortable stable. Ja, 
just another little while. Then we ought to see the tarn lights. Still no sign of trouble. Here they come! Seems we spoke too soon. Get up there! Come on! Get up! Get up! Come on! Ride! 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 Gunfire! Come on, we gotta see what it is. Come on, fella, get up! It's one more abandoned. There's vigilante guns to help us. Hold it. Rain in that horse. There's a gun in your back. That wasn't very sociable running off like that, was it? I should have guessed that you were a crook, Burns. And the lowest kind of crook. A phony lawman. Forget the tall talk. You can get on down out of that seat. And the old man along with you. I'm driving this rig where we want to go. Come on, Rocky. Keep it going. Turn around and start walking. He, he ain't going to shoot him in, in the back. <laughs> ain't nothing to stop him. Drop that gun. Tex-tuck! Don't, Mike. Reckon we'd better get on back to Four Feather Falls. There's a whole heap of explaining needs doing. Well, sure there it is. Tex got back just in the nick of time. <laughs> no, wouldn't you say that this was a little bit of luck? I would. A little bit of real Irish luck, too. Well, here's to you. Home to Guntex of Texas There's a guy with the straightest deal But he keeps the law with the fastest draw And a nervous strongest deal Oh, to Guntex of Texas We'll never let you down but play it bad and he'll get mad So cover your tricks from Tugan Tex The smartest guy in town The smartest guy in town